Hello and welcome to Color Up. So should you lay odds on your don't pass or don't come bet? I know a lot of players don't like to do it because you put out more money to win back less. Today, I'm gonna to show a little comparison video and see what happens. So if you're a don't player and there's a point established, at this point in the game, the don't player has the advantage over the casino. Now, a lot of players will argue, well, I have the advantage, so why would I put out more money? I will get paid one-to-one -one for a bet that I have the advantage on. So a lot of players don't like to lay additional odds behind their don't because they have to pay more or play more to win back less. So in this case, I'm gonna lay $60 to win back 50. Now the advantage is you're gonna get paid the true odds of rolling a seven versus whatever point number is, and therefore the house edge is 0%. Now when you average that with your flat bet, the overall house edge goes down compared to this player's flat bet where it, where it always remains, I believe it's 1.36 or basically 1.4%. This one is 1.4 and zero, and you average it and it lowers down. So the house edge goes down, but the volatility goes way up. I've got a $70 bet here, and I would win 10 plus 50, I'd win $60 if the seven rolls, but if the six rolls, I'm gonna lose $70. So the swings or the volatility of this bet is a lot higher, where this one, I'm gonna win $10 or I'm gonna lose $10. Now the math says it doesn't matter where you lay odds or don't lay odds, you're still on the hook or you're going to lose in the long run, mathematically, 1.4% of the $10 bet here. But when you're laying odds and the seven is showing up consistently, you're gonna win a lot faster by laying odds than not laying odds. Now, the reverse is also true. If you're hitting a lot of points, you're gonna be losing money a lot quicker than if you don't lay odds. So yes, with odds, you are laying more to win back less, but if you compare it to something like sports betting, you gotta remember, you're the favorite once there's a point been established. So you have to bet more money to win back less. It's just the nature of being the favorite. You are the favorite, you're more likely to win than you are to lose. Let's go ahead and do a short roll. Now this is crap, so anything could happen, and the mathematically better bet doesn't always win. Player A is going to be my flat better, and he has a $100 bankroll. And player B here has a $500 bankroll, and he's going to be uh, playing odds, maximum odds, on a three, four, five times table. Now I'm going to use the don't come to get two points for each player working. And actually, both of these players, I don't really think has enough bankroll. This player it could potentially have $20 at risk per shooter. So really to even last 10 shooters, he needs 200. And this player um, at a three, four, five times table, he's gonna have back each $10 bet up with $60 in odds. So $70, once he establishes another point, $140. So to even have enough bankroll for 10 shooters, he really should have a bankroll of approximately $1,400. And again, I, I only have $500 right now. So we'll just do a short little roll, see how long it lasts till one of them runs out of money. And uh, yeah, we'll just go from there. So new shooter coming out, here we go. And it's gonna be six, six is the point. My dice rolled there. So laying odds on a don't come table with three, four, five times t odds is really easy. It's always gonna be six times your flat bet. So six times 10 is gonna be $60. So $60 in odds laid against the number. Now why that works is $60 is gonna win back $50 on the six and the eight because the odds are five to six. The five and nine, $60 is gonna win back $40 because the odds are three to two. And the four and 10, $60 is going to win back $30 or one to two. So it's based off the three times is based off the winnings. So you can win three times your flat bet of $10. So you can win $30, which allows you on the don't to bet $60 or one to two. All right, let's go ahead and get another don't come. So we both of them get another point. And here we go. And it's gonna be an eight, eight's the new point, or I should say additional point. So we'll put that back here. And again, our don't player is gonna drop $60 and get odds on his eight. Kind of running out of room here. We'll kind of do it like that. And at this point, I just need to see a seven before we see either the six or eight. So we'll just sit back and let the dice do its thing. There's a three. 
And there's a nine. And an eight, so we hit our eight. So that's a loser here for both of these players. And we still have our six working. So it's up to you, maybe you wanna establish that um, you know, additional point. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna let it roll and hope for that seven. There's a five. Oh, knocked our dice down here, our chips. Let's go seven. There's a five. Yo, 11. Nine, neener nine. Midnight. There's a nine again. Seven, seven out. So our flat better is going to win one to one or $10. And our odds player is going to win 10 for his flat bet. And for a $60 bet, he's going to win 50. So go ahead and rack that up. We'll rack this player up and we'll just leave those line bets there. All right, so we got a new shooter coming out. Here we go, coming out. And six, six is gonna be the point again. Mark the six, flat better is gonna follow it up with one additional combat. This player is gonna lay $60 in odds. And he's also gonna to try to establish another number. Here we go. And it's gonna be four. So these don't bets will move behind the four. Again, this player is gonna drop $60, $60 to win 30 behind his four. And here we go, now we're just looking for that seven. And there it is, quick seven out. Let's get player gets paid 10 here. This flat bet comes down and gets paid 10. The four comes down Gets paid 10 for the flat and 30 for the odds, 10 for the flat. This is for the six and we're gonna get $50 for the odds. It's a pretty good hit for this don't player. So at this point is paying off to play the odds. which is a great way to play as long as the shooters are avoiding their points, not hitting the numbers. All right, here we go, new shooter coming out. And it's gonna be two, two craps. That's just a quick $10 win for both of our players. Remember the two and three is a winner on the come out roll and it's bar 12, so 12 is a push. All right, here we go, looking for a point still. Two, two craps. Happily do that all day. And it's gonna be a nine, nine's the point. So we're gonna get $60 laid in odds. And we're gonna get a $10 don't come bet. And we're gonna get $10 don't come for this player. All right, let's see what other number they get. And it's gonna be a five. So their don'ts are gonna to travel to the five, behind the five, and again, $60. We're gonna lay against the five. We wanna see that seven before the five. $60 odds is gonna pay $40. All right, here we go. And it's gonna be nine, so we hit our nine. That's not good. So our don't pass is gonna lose everything down here. And that is our point hit, so the puck's gonna come off. Now these guys are still working. So if we see a seven, we're gonna be a winner. And it's gonna be nine, nine's the new point. So we're still looking for our seven. And again, I'm not gonna follow it up with another number, I'll just play it out from here. Nine, so we hit our point. 
Puck's going to come off, which is okay. At this point, it's either the five or the seven. That's our game. And six. Six is the new point. Six hard. Let's see that seven. And wow, okay. Hitting the point, but again, it's not hurting us. Points off. Looking for that seven. And right back on that six for the point. And there's the five. My dice rolled, I hit it, but it was the five, so we did hit our point, which means this comes down behind. We lose here. And yeah, we'll go ahead and roll until we clear this point out. We'll get a seven. Um, and then we kind of don't have enough, but we'll go ahead and pull from his winnings to, to play one more round. There's a nine. And there's the six. Point hit. Six hard. So this is the same shooter, but we're going to go ahead and play one more round. Don't there. Don't there. Let's get a point established. And it's going to be a nine. Again, we're going to pull from his winnings, and he's going to lay 60. And follow it up with a $10 don't come. And this player is also going to do a $10 don't come. Here we go. And seven. Seven out. That's a loser in the don't. Our don't pass player is going to win 10. 10. And 60 is going to pay 40. Go ahead and rack that up. And uh, yeah, so the number should be on the screen to let you know where, I'm, where I stand. That was a seven out. And uh, yeah, this is short roll, so it doesn't really mean anything. Um, just keep in mind, you play in odds, you get paid at the true odds, which is a great bet. Fantastic bet. You can't beat it in the casino, 0% house edge. But you are risking more. And in this case, when playing the don't, sure, you're betting more to win back less. So as long as the numbers roll in your favor, or basically the seven, then you'll be in good shape. Otherwise, you can go ahead and play it flat and uh, kind of a low risk, low reward type game. But again, if you're playing the don'ts, once the point's established, you are at an advantage over the casino. So I hope you liked it and let me know whether you play this strategy, another strategy, let me know down in the comments. And until next time, good luck on coloring up.